In today's era, it is really hard to find a custom ROM that provides all the latest features of Google's mobile OS, which for instance is Android Pi. But the developers always find one way or another to port such features. Hey guys, my name is Saf, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Android Pi 9.0 on Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And this video is brought to you by XVBN. Watch this video till the end to learn more about the product. So guys, in the first part of this video, we're going to be taking a look at the features which this ROM provides and in the second part, I'm going to be showing you the how you can install this ROM on your device. Now guys, before we go ahead and show you anything else, I would like to acknowledge you about the ROM which we're going to be taking a look at in this video. The name of the ROM is .OS based on Android 8.1 but the reason why I call this ROM Android Pi based is because of the fact that it comes with Android Pi features. Not only that, we also get Android Pi theming system along with it. So guys, let me show you first of all the feature which I think kind of revolutionized the navigation system when the iPhone X was first launched. Of course, I'm talking about the new gestures and Android P does come with the new gesture system and as you can see at the bottom, we're having this beautiful slider through which we can control our entire system. Now, as you can see, if I move this slider to where it's left, it opens up the task manager. And the best part about this slider is that you can actually change or customize the functions of it according to your taste. So let me show you the, how you can do that. So guys, the app which is going to be helping us in modifying the gestures of this bar is called navigation gestures by XDA and right up at the top you'll find this gear icon so go ahead and tap on that and off of that tap on gestures and inside of this menu you'll find a lot of options for modifying the actions of this bar now I have already set the action for tapping this slider to take me home so if I do that here you can see that it does that pretty precisely and just the same way you can modify the other actions of this bar as well now guys if for some reason you feel like this bar is taking too much screen you can also resize it so in order to do that get inside of appearance tab and right here you'll find pill width so change the width uh, just like that according to your taste and you also have uh, options for changing the pill height uh, changing the position and colors of this bar and whatnot so do take a look at that i hope you will really like it so guys with android pi we're finally having a new look of the volume slider so let me change my volume to show you what i'm talking about so this is a look which we're getting right here with the older versions of Android, we had that horizontal bar that used to pop up right up at the top and it was really hard to reach that bar. So I'm glad that we are finally having a new look right here and you can also expand the menu by tapping on this arrow right here. You can also change the settings for this volume bar. So in order to do that, you have to get inside of this application which is called Android Pre Volume Slider. So right here, you'll find a bunch of options. So do take a look at them and uh, do make some changes according to your taste. Another thing which I really find uh, great about this application is that it actually gives us uh, the shortcuts for changing the volume of other operations on this system. So in the notification panel, you will find this tray right here with the shortcuts cuts so tap on any of these icons of which you want to change the volume for respective tasks. Alright folks, I'm going to be taking you to the players where you're going to be bombarded with loads of customization options. So in order to do that, I'll first of all take you inside of settings and here guys you will find .UI Center and .Extra. So these are the two places where we're going to be playing with a couple of settings for customizing our system. So let me show you what we have first of all inside of .UI Center. So here guys you will find a couple of tweaks through which you can modify the theme of your system. So for instance, as you can see, uh, we're having this theme going on so let me change that to something else maybe dark theme so in order to do that what I'll do I'll tap on overlay color and here guys as you can see we have uh, these following themes so we have black dark and white theme so let me change uh, the theme to dark so after you have chosen your theme just tap on this little tick and within a couple of seconds the theme will be applied so let me show you my notification panel now so as you can see guys the theme has been successfully applied and now it looks pretty damn cool all right guys now let's see what we have inside of dot extras department so when you will first open up dot extras uh, you will be able to relate to these settings if you have used resurrection remix from in past because all of those settings have gone inside of this from and that's a great thing honestly speaking uh, because these settings do give a lot of flexibility in terms of customization now guys the settings have been divided into a couple of segments which you can see right now on the screen uh, so you can get inside of these segments and modify each and every element of your system now I'm not going to be 
be uh, showing you all of the options that are available inside of these segments because that's gonna take forever but what I'll do I'll give you an overview of some of the options which I think are pretty cool so that you can have a better idea of what we have inside of dot extras alright folks I'm gonna be showing you that how you can take screenshot by swiping three fingers on your screen so in order to do that you have to get inside of system settings and from here general tweaks scroll down and here guys you will find this toggle right next to three finger gesture so enable that and now guys if I go ahead and swipe three fingers on my screen you can see that it does take screenshot pretty cool you can also add the screenshot option inside of the power menu so by default you can see we are having the power off and reboot options so let's add the screenshot feature so in order to do that uh, you have to tap on buttons and from here uh, tap on power menu so here guys you will find uh, this toggle right next to screenshot so enable that and now guys if I go ahead and long press my power key you can see that we are having the screenshot option enabled so guys for the next week it is gonna be letting you change the brightness of your system by swiping across the status bar so let me just show you what I'm actually talking about so here guys as you can see if I swipe my finger towards the right side on the status bar it does increase the brightness and if I swipe my finger towards left side it decreases it so pretty uh, useful feature and to enable that you have to get inside of status bar options and from here tap on miscellaneous extras and right here guys you will find this toggle right next to brightness control so enable that and right after that you will get this feature enabled on your device now inside of this uh, menu you also have a tweak which can make your phone go to sleep by double pressing on the status bar so right here uh, is the tweak of which I'm actually talking about so let me enable that and show you that how does it work so if I go ahead and double press on my status bar you can see that it does make my phone go to sleep all right guys now it's time to take a look at the sponsors of today's video xvbn now guys before i go ahead and review this app i would like to acknowledge you a little bit about why do we need such kind of applications well guys in today's era your personal information is not secured at all whether or not you're under a public network so this is where such applications play a very vital role a vpn encrypts your data so that nobody can access that all right guys now first of all i'll tell you one of the ways that how you can get hacked over the internet now guys when you visit any website out there whether it's malicious or not the server of that website is able to trace your IP address and that's where the game gets bad the server can use your IP address and get you hacked but if I go ahead and use XVPN the server won't be able to trace my IP because XVPN will change it so now I'll show you how you can do that alright guys so first of all I'll show you my current location and then I'll change that to something else using XVPN app now guys in order to show you my location I'll be making the use of this website right here now here guys as you can see at the bottom my country being shown is Oman and uh, I cannot show you my IP address here for security purposes. Anyways, I'm going to be taking you inside of XVPN app where I'll guide you to how you can change your IP address. Now here guys, you have to tap on select location and then you have to tap on free service. And within a couple of seconds, you will find your IP address changed. Now guys, since it is a free app, you will find some ads. But the great thing about this app is that the fact it gives you 200 plus servers to which you can connect. Anyways, I'm going to be taking you uh, to the same website which we tested earlier. Now here guys as you can see at the bottom our country has been changed to Greece our IP address has also been changed so as you just saw this app does an incredible job in changing the IP address so guys inside of this app you will find these three lines so tap on that and right here you will find VPN protocol and those of you who do not know what exactly a VPN protocol is it actually determines how your data routes between your device and the VPN server so by tapping on protocol it will take us to this page and here guys you will find a lot of protocol ranging from speed to security so with protocol a as you can see we are getting five stars for speed to connect but four stars for security and later down you will find protocol C uh, which is giving us five stars for security but three stars for speed to connect so you can clearly see how these protocols are put out and honestly speaking guys it really amazes me when I think about an app which is free and offers this much flexibility with such amazing features and guys this doesn't even stop yet this app also comes with kill switch feature which is found in one of the most premium VPN applications out there so what this feature basically does if it is turned on and for some reason your VPN gets disconnected you will automatically get disconnected from your internet connection so that your security is not put on risk and guys by making the use of XVPN you would also be able to to open those websites that might be blocked inside of your country now here guys in my country Skype is blocked I cannot use this service as you can see right here I cannot even open their website so let me just go back and get connected to XVPN and then give it a shot so if you have been successfully connected now let's go back to the browser now here guys if I go ahead and try to open up Skype you can see
see that it does work there we go so as you can see uh, this site has been successfully loaded so yeah you can use this uh, VPN application in this regard as well it does work pretty well and guys you can also go overboard and unlock some more features of this app so let me show you some of the features that you can get by going premium you can get dedicated servers for Netflix BBC iPlayer Skygo Pandora Amazon Prime and for many other services not only that you can also get 100 to 250 percent faster speeds with 5000 plus servers around the world with zero ads and 24 by 7 live support right here you can see all the subscription plans and surprisingly enough guys these are also pretty cheap and guys if you are a playstation 4 user this app can be very helpful for you in unlocking games and finding better deals around the world and here you will also find a complete guide on how you can create a vpn connection for your playstation 4 via your mobile phone so all in all guys i would say that this is a beautiful app with loads of features and i would definitely recommend you guys to have xvpn installed on your devices this app is not only available on android but also on ios windows mac chrome and linux all the links about this app is going to be listed in the description of this video so do check them there so guys coming back towards this from let me tell you that the camera app works absolutely fine so this is the interface that you're getting here absolutely clean you can also get more options by tapping on these three lines just like that and talking about the s pen it also works pretty fine so as you can see here uh, I can easily access my phone with my S Pen and now guys I'm gonna go ahead and show you the how you can install this from on your device but first you have to download two files and save them on your device uh, first being the ROM file and second the boot file all the links are gonna be in the description of this video so after you're done with that let's get to the PC side alright guys now first of all we will be installing Torp Recovery 3.2.1 on our Samsung Galaxy Note 3 devices and if you have any older version of Torp then this version then please do not use that because that is not gonna be working with this ROM and uh, in addition to uh, Torp Recovery we will also be flashing one more file and that is the bootloader on our Galaxy Note 3 devices uh, so that we do not end up having any sort of networking issues now guys before you go ahead and open up Odin I just want to let you know that these files are going to be model specific so do take a look in the description where I will be putting all the links uh, for uh, these files for your uh, model so that you do not uh, end up messing your phone all right so let me just quickly open up my Odin application and here guys you have to tap on options and uh, from here deselect auto reboot and after that guys get inside of the download mode on your phone and after that connect your phone to the PC so let me just do that real quick so guys after that uh, you will find the blue box right here uh, that will actually show you that now you are able to flash the files on your device and after that go ahead and tap on AB and from here you have to select your top recovery so my PC is kind of slow so bear with me alright so here we are so this is the file which I'm gonna be selecting and off of that tap on BL which basically stands for bootloader and from here select the bootloader file which is this one right here and then tap on OK and after that guys uh, go ahead and tap on start now within a couple of seconds uh, these files will be flashed uh, on our Android devices so yeah I'll meet you in the custom recovery and guys one thing I forgot to mention you also need to download Google Apps and save them on your device so the links are gonna be in the description of this video for them alright so once you're inside of the custom recovery go ahead and tap on wipe advanced wipe here select these items offer the selection swipe to wipe them up and now guys you have to move to the folder where you saved your ROM file so here is mine with the name .os so let me go ahead and flash it so it's gonna be taking a couple of minutes so after it's on flashing we're gonna be flashing the Google Apps so guys the ROM has been successfully flashed and now it's time to flash the Google Apps so guys the Google Apps have been flashed on my device now and now you can go ahead and flash the last but not the least file that is the Magisk root file so let me do that here real quick so guys after you have flashed the root file uh, you can go ahead and reboot your device the first boot is going to be taking some time like 20 minutes so do give it some time and off of that we're gonna be flashing some more APKs to get some more access of features alright folks so as you can see the ROM has been successfully booted up looks absolutely fresh and now what you had to do you had to go in the description of this video and from there you have to download a file with the name pipepackets.zip 
So it is a zip file, so you have to first of all extract it on your device and then you will find these four APKs. So first of all, you have to install this APK with the name Astro File Manager. And after you're done with that, you have to get inside of Astro File Manager and from there you have to install these three other APKs. We are doing that because the official file manager does not allow any installation of third-party APKs. All right, so that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you got any queries, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you out next time.